Welcome to Crushable. I'm Drew. I'm not a beer expert, but I have been using it to cultivate mass. I got TK <laughs> here today. Hey everyone, I'm TK. I'm just your regular, typical, average Joe that drinks whatever the fuck's right in front of me. And I have the pleasure to introduce our new friend. Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to the show, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> so the theme for today is Virginia beers. Last week we did PA beers, so we're going to give Virginia its due. It's interesting. Uh, these are stouts. We got a size on, and then the back row is uh, IPA variants. So, what do you want to start with? You want to get the IPAs out of the way with? Or do you want yeah, to start with let's. The stouts? Uh, <laughs> now we'll and see. Fish, the we'll fish with the big stouts. All right. Okay. We'll, see, we'll see if the good stuff. Resides. All right. So we'll start right here. This is Old Busthead Griffin House. They're out of Vin Virginia. This is a seven and a half percent American IPA. So. Well, I can already smell it. Got that weed oh, smell. Oh man, it's it's just it smells like my neighbor's house, man. <laughs> what you got yeah. over there? <laughs> That's some OG Kush right there. Oh wow. Oh, it does smell like weed. Wow. Dude, it smell, dude. That's potent. That that's some strong ass profile Ooh, right there. And it's got a big bitter. Mm, yeah, that's especially big. at the end. <laughs> not almost Ooh, goosebumps, but not. Not most, not quite. I got that bitter beer face. Oh, that oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The old goo. Oh, one. it's a... Mmm. Yeah, dude, no, it's definitely up there. It's... I was like, and these are the types of IPAs that really can make the mood <sighs> turn. Because it's just, if you don't like it, you don't like it. Like, I've, it's... <laughs> I feel like I just drank a tree. <laughs> it's very piney and very... Yeah. It's definitely yeah. a Ooh. big... It is a big, big boy. <laughs> American beer. Uh, uh, you know, American American always known for its uh going big face, in the home. Yeah, in your face, <laughs> extreme it's styles. Really it's not it's not it's not bad. It's just the flavor of, I, I wasn't expecting that big of a yeah, slap like an overpower. That is a very, very strong yeah, that's, a, that's a very strong so flavor. So let's see. Let's let's compare it to this one because this is Devil's Backbone, owned by Embed. Boo. But whatever. Uh, See, now this I've is... always heard good things uh, about their Vienna Lager. I like that. And this is their 8 point, and they have a 16 point uh, referencing gears. But this is an IPA, also the same percentage, 7.5. Mm -hmm. I would call this also an American IPA. So. All right. Cheers. Much better, not as intense, and you don't get that bitterness. But you still get the same, um, the same hoppiness feel. Yeah, it's 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 hoppy, but it's not like in your face. Like, like I feel like I'm yeah. listening. I feel <laughs> like this is like a normal commercial, right? And this is when you're watching TV and the volume goes up twenty things. Buy me, like, oh shit! Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is very drinkable. Although I, I I still I have yet to find. A devil's backbone beer that I don't like. Like right. every every everyone that I've had have been amazing. Mm -hmm. Could you say maybe they've split the middle of the road, mellowed out the flavors, rounded off the edges, made themselves appealable to everyone? Yeah, yeah. this 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 definitely seems more of like a getting some yard work. Just got sure. back from a hike, yeah, doing nice. something outside. Like this is definitely a like an outdoor summer drinking IPA. It seems like it's good. Oh, one hundred percent. And now that the weather is out here in the, oh. the beautiful East Coast, this is definitely I can definitely I can definitely chill out to. And Drew's first mistake of the day: six point two percent on that one, not seven point five. Uh, it's it's okay. still good. I like it. Good. All right, so we're sticking with the IPAs, but we're gonna get a little funky with it now. Uh -oh. El Guapo from O'Connor. I don't know why the, the Irish are... <laughs> why are we, we already, we already yeah. did the Irish episode. Yeah, the yeah. Irish-Spanish connection, you know. Uh, are you but this... talking about me? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, you're Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> this one's got agave in it, so... You, oh, you okay, there that, you go. Like, this is yours, Paul. Yeah. I, I mean, it should have that distinct sweetness flavor that you get from agave. Almost like a honey. Okay, yeah, you definitely, you definitely get that. It definitely feel. smells sweeter. Mm-hmm. I feel like a, a there's like a, a, a like a feet. sharp like plant plant feeling. Yeah, mm -hmm. plant or wood. Yeah, finish like, to it. Yeah, it's like a and that sharp, might be the agave. Kind of a remnant of tequila. But the I thing was, is with agave is most of the time it's not as sharp. I mean, it's strong, but it's not sharp. This one is sharp. 
Like I can taste like the I don't know why I keep doing this. Like it's like I'm like a like a like a spike. <laughs> it's gonna sound odd, but I, I know it, it's definitely sweeter than the other two. Yeah. It almost kind of reminds me of like almost of like a honey brown, like a full flavored, like heavy wheat ale kind mm. of flavor to it. it doesn't okay. taste like yeah. an IPA. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't yeah. it doesn't have that hoppiness, doesn't have that bitterness. It's just it's very drinkable. But it's definitely different. It's very sweet. But yeah, I, I definitely would say this is more on the funky side. We were experimenting in the lab one day, and we actually created this. <laughs> we're gonna go with it. <laughs> so I agree. You know what it's gonna taste like mm. when you go into every generic brew pub, like BJ's <laughs> or something like that, and they and they say and they say we have a farmhouse wheat ale. Mm, yeah, right. this is what every one of them tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> Uh, O'Connor's out of uh, Norfolk, Virginia, so down by the ocean. That's not right. Hey, it's not so bad. It's like four yeah. and a half hours of premiere. All right, and then the last IPA. This is a black IPA. Never had one before. Port City. Uh, I think it's called the Long Black Veil. Vale. They trademarked it. <laughs> mm. Sounds like a My Chemical Romance song. <laughs> QN. <laughs> I definitely smell that. I might have farted. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time someone's farted on the show. <laughs> okay, this smells like a black smoky sensation. It's like, you know when you smoke um, wood chips in a fire? It kind of tastes like that. Like the Well, obviously, because of the color, the malt is definitely roasted similar to a stout. They just haven't you know, fully stoutized it and right. threw a lot more hops in there. And <laughs> if you were to put, call? <laughs> no, no, no. If you were to put this side by side with Union's Blackwing Lager, uh -huh. I wouldn't go to tell you the difference. This tastes oh. exactly like their dark lager. Yeah, it's got a little. It's you can taste the malt. It's not super hoppy. This is very good. Mm. It's very good. I don't know how to feel about this. Except black disgusting. IPs aren't my favorite, but. I would drink that, I think. I've never had one before. Yeah. I don't know what to think. Yeah. Mm. Never have I. And it's... Alright, so out of the IPAs, which one was your favorite, Paul? <sighs> Crown of King of those four. It's between the Black Lager and the Devil's Backbone. I, it's really hard to say. So, like, the Devil's Backbone kind of tasted like your everyday run-of-the-mill... I'm gonna go do some. I'm gonna go do some yard work, hang out outside, have a nice beer afterwards. But mm -hmm. this one's it's got a lot of comp. The flavors are real complex, and I'm more of a stout and porter guy. So I think I gotta go with the Black Veil Bride or the the Long Black. <laughs> from, from kids. You know what? This I is a new name. Black Veil Bride. <laughs> Black Rover. You don't just put a fucking emo band and just slap onto it. Please tell me you can do like you can like Photoshop like a like the Karen haircut but all black on top of the bottom. Sure, oh, sure. Oh, one hundred percent. That was some eyeliner, maybe. <laughs> oh, that would be that would be uh, great. that would be great. Uh, what about you, TK? What's your top IPA, Virginia IPA, on the table? Oh, well, I don't know which one's not my favorite by the long shot. It's I don't like that at all. That was too much for me. So I'm actually really between these two, honestly. And Paul literally just said, so like me and Paul have the same taste in terms of beer. That's why we like we get along really well. And most of the time, like whatever he, if, whenever he goes for a stout, I follow because he hasn't, you haven't let me wrong yet. So I'm also gonna go with what it, Mr. Um, My Chemical Romance. <laughs> <laughs> when. <laughs> So it's just it tastes like a stout, but it's like a mini. It's almost like a um, fun size stout. Yeah. And it's like half the ABVs of a stout, <laughs> but also still packs the same punch of a stout. What about wow. you, Drew? What about you? You know, so I, I applaud them for going for it. They really, <laughs> I mean, if giant abrasive stout is your thing, you would love this. I don't love that. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, I hate black IPAs, it's... but this is really palatable. So, I this had that weird plant thing, and this is just middle of the road. So, I, I think we have a clean sweep here. Uh, right. We'll go with the long black veil. I guess we can uh, certify that crushable. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. oh yeah, Paul, one thing. Whenever we start our pressure bowl, we just chuck the shit out of it. So it's your <laughs> guess. I was getting ready to pull yeah. some more <laughs> yeah, for yeah, me. Go for it. We Go gave everybody it. a big glass, yes. so you can you can big glass it, it for now and well, sip no, no, if we the... if we if we all liked it. <laughs> we'll all mm-hmm. kill this one. Because this one was really good. I like this plan. I like this plan too. Uh was there anything we need to bucket? Uh, um, uh I this I one's so. borderline, man. That, that I, one's, that one's... I, I agree with that one being very too pungent. Just... I, will, I will be its lifeline. I will say that okay. it, can, it can stay, and I'll I'll take one for the team here, and I'll, I'll drink that one when we're done. <laughs> <sighs> All right, uh, let's uh, knock out the size on. So that is festival, but they've capitalized ale at the end of festival. Mm-hmm. It's a farmhouse size on. It's a cherry uh, ale for y'all. I never yeah. had a cherry ale. Uh, that's Ox, Old Ox. They're out of uh, Ashburn, Virginia. I've actually been to that brewery. Uh, there's a nice bike trail that runs nice. along there, and you can just like pull off the bike trail and go drink. I'm going to have to check that out. Yeah. Which, speaking of which, I'm really excited about. Uh, Maryland DNR is in the process. It's in the planning and potentially building stages of they're putting in a trail from Guinness to Patapsico. Oh yes, so you can so you'll you will be able to park at the brewery at, at, the, brewery. at the at the brewery. The open go gate ride to Patapsico, yeah. ride back. Instead of having that's to drink cool. in the parking lot now, you can drink <laughs> in the parking lot at the brewery. That's nice. <laughs> that's pretty dope. I have high hopes for this one because I, I, like, I like I like the cherry beers. Ooh it smells cherry. Mm-hmm. It's a very tart I was gonna say it, it almost has like a like a almost like a sour esque yeah kind of it's flavor. It's not to as it. saisani as I you know. And you know what also it feels definitely like you can you it's there's cherry in there, but it's not because sometimes you know with cherries it's a the the cherries can can be sharp in terms of its flavor. This one is not as sharp. So I definitely like that that if they weren't going to go for like the aggressive cherry flavor like you go at like a Shirley Temple like you order yeah. from Lee's. So I it's think very, it's, I think tame. it's good. It's good. It's tame. It's, I definitely like that. I would if I was in the store or in the bar, I would buy it. Yeah, I agree. I would definitely have one. If I didn't know it had cherries in it, like from the label, I I didn't taste any cherry. I just got like a a citrusy sourness. It's yeah. it's it's there. Yeah. It's 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 yeah. it's weird because yeah. it almost give, give has a little, like a give me a little more. Maybe I just didn't. Mm-hmm. Maybe but like so, it's like that's the thing with I think what they did honestly was that they probably knew that the cherry might be too powerful, so they reduced the content of the cherry <laughs> in when they were mixing it with, with the formulas. I like the cherry. Be bold with the cherry. Damn it! <laughs> it, 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 it has like a little bit of funk to it yeah. in there. It's a little bit of stank. Well, that's the Good. yeah the size on part. Yeah, you always get a little punkiness. But yeah, as, I mean, they they could have gone way off the rails and made it taste that like that that really dark, fake, that really fake, fake <laughs> almost candy flavor. Yeah, that's like liquid sugar. It's like I don't want a tussie pop. I want like actual cherry. If pop. I want laffy taffy, I would go get laffy taffy. I would go drink a certain beer that we will not name on this show. But we're gonna try Miss uh, Mrs. India Woman. It's uh, Speck and Z Deutsch by Aslan. Well, I'm glad you I always say it. Uh, Aslan. Uh, and my friend keeps correcting me as being like, it's Aslan. Like the lion from it's, the lion. It's not the, the lion. It's and not I the keep, lion. I keep calling it the lion. I'm just going to picture every one of their mascots is going to sound like Patrick Stewart. Now. <laughs> <laughs> or no, that wasn't no, Patrick Stewart. No, that, was, that, was, just, that was freaking Liam Neeson. Listen, who did yeah. the voice of... Oh yeah, yeah. Remember the, remember the one scene from the from that movie? He's like, "Ride me," and but it was like aggressive. He's like, "Ride me!" <laughs> and I go off into the distance. Climb on my back. I, I was gonna say I have a certain set of skills. Yeah, yeah. that's really bad. Following it up, that yeah. ride me. I have skills. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 it smells so good. Oh, this you can this definitely one. smell the roasted in this. This is a big boy, fifteen percent. Oh. All right, Miss. All right, yeah. Mr. Stout Man. Oh, got the Stout Man. Yeah, it, it's like syrup. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a pastry stout or oh dessert god. stout. Oh my god, this Double. is big. This is like, like this is dessert in a glass. This is a drink that you sit at home after a very long day, and you chuck this one, and you open this, and then you just don't move anywhere because you're not gonna move anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 
mean, and you guys are talking about you taste the roastedness and the flavors, and I just taste how drunk I'm gonna get. <laughs> this is very, very. This is this is a very heavy beer. It's it's kind of like a less. It's kind of like a more liquid maple syrup. Oh yeah. It's, oh, it's totally. We're, we had one. I think it was KBS's coffee stout, where it was oh, just God. literally liquid. Two two roll. This kind of reminds me of that. Like, this yeah. is almost too sweet for me. It's mm. very very sweet. It's yeah. very yeah. very sweet. It's very very syrupy and mm. Mm. like I, like if you would have told me that this is what you mix on a soda machine <laughs> and you get like a coffee flavored chocolate soda, I would believe you. <laughs> this this seems like the appropriate serving size. Right. Yes. 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 Definite. Definite. A, ni- a nice four ounce pour <laughs> of this. <laughs> And it comes in a 16 ounce can. Yeah. So you yeah. never have three other friends when you eat. <laughs> or you just kind of get like a palate, like a serving palate. Like at a party, you just pour like these and that. You just like one for you, one for you, one for you. Now, you know what this probably wouldn't be terrible in? Because I've done this before. Big heavy stout and just soak some marshmallows in it. Yeah. Ooh. And then roast with the marshmallows. So it burns Ooh. the alcohol off, but you get the flavor of the beer and the marshmallow. This would be really good in that. Because Ooh. other than that, I could not finish that can. This, 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 is, <laughs> no. way, this is way too much beer for me. So, I can imagine drinking one of these, you know, having a fire outside, Ooh. a light Ooh. snow is falling. <laughs> it's the winter. It's yeah. the cold. It's like almost near zero degrees. You just finished snowing. Like, you just finished shoveling snow outside. Yeah, I could definitely tell you that drink right there, my friends, you're not going anywhere. So on to the next drink. This one I actually have a story with. Oh, man. I've had liquors that aren't that strong. Jesus. <laughs> that is some big boy stuff right there. We go hard Ooh. on crush. So this one is called Sal- uh, Salem Dairy Milk Stout. This is from Dragon Run Brewery. I actually visit this physical brewery when I was in my adventures down in Virginia. The owner gave me this one because he couldn't sell it because it's damaged, obviously. So you can't sell mm-hmm. damaged can't sell damaged goods to a customer. That would be bad taste. So we're actually going to try this out for you. So thank you, Tony, from Dragon Run Brewery for giving uh, us a try. And That's I really appreciate thank you. That. They thank actually you. might have been our first sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, right. You don't have to pay us. Just give us it's free beer. beer. <laughs> and so... The other beer is still pouring out. Is that there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. I believe it. Yeah, I'm using my. I'm using the other one. That the one IPA right glass, on. yeah, that's good. Ooh. So this is a milk stout, which is Paul's number one favorite. This stout. is yes, this is this is one of my favorites. Type of stouts. So all right, Paul, Ooh. it's all Ooh. on you. I got a little bit on the fingers, and I look. Oh man, I feel like you could mix these two together. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now he looks at you, and be like. Go, go for it, go for it, go for it. We, we, we've done beer cocktails before. before. <laughs> we did shit last week. Yeah. That is very good. It's not super overpowering. It's not super heavy. It's light enough. It's got a, it's got good flavor to it. It's very creamy. So what it has is a it? really thin mouthfeel, though. Like, yeah. It yeah. needs a little thickness. Mm-hmm. See, I, see, like, I'm kind of... Don't get me wrong. I, oh, I no, like my stuff. I like my beer. <laughs> but I was just thinking, like, I actually like that about that. It's it's not a super thick beer. Mm-hmm. It's not real heavy. It's very kind of light and crispy for being a stout. Mm-hmm. Because I've I've had some milk stouts that have been on the other end oh. to go either way of this. But this is this is really good. So that combines really yeah, well. All right, all right, all right, all right, fine. We're gonna do it. All right, fine. Do it. All right, fine. We'll do it. All right, Captain, load me up here. Oh, that. That's a combination, a c- 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 combo like a bear fight combo, or no, it just it, it it took the the strengths of both and combined it, you know. So polarization, so the, the big like the card from Yu Gi Oh, <laughs> and the sweetness, it up the the mouthfeel. Mm. It's not as thin, gave it a little bit more booze flavor. All right, all right, I card. declare that these two should forever be a combination of stouts. Like that is that's a one two punch combo, my friend. <laughs> No, no, it's still, no, it's, it's still, it's still too, too much. It's still yeah, too much. We're gonna, that one's that one's getting a pour. Oh. Well, it, well, that doesn't count because we combine things. Yeah, you know, it. know what it is? You know what it is? It's <clears throat> it's the it's the consistency of this. Even though they're mixed, mm-hmm. it has such a thick, syrupy consistency. Mm-hmm. I can't. It's almost too sweet. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's too sweet. And I can't. I just, I just can't do it. So, like one more thing about Dragon Run Breweries. So when they brew this, they were in. And cahoots with one of 
their, um, I guess, role models or mentors in the brewing industry. I don't know this exact the details of it, but they wanted to make, um, they were already making like their own dry Irish stout, kind of be like the Guinness. Mm -hmm. So that's, this was part of their inspiration. So that's kind of like some stories. It definitely like, had a good char know. on the base. So yeah, I'll have a light. All right, on the next, next one, <laughs> another Aslan beer. Uh, this one's uh, Coco Mostra. Ride me. So, ride, ride me! <laughs> just get out of my head now. 16, 16.5% oh, on this. Uh, Holy, are you trying to kill me today? <laughs> Jesus. I told you, we don't go easy festival. here. Ooh, there's that sweetness oh, to it. Oh, and it's got that flavor. And that's like. the yeah, flavor to it. I like this. Oh, that's I like enough. this a lot. <laughs> Wow. I like it. Almost this a lot. kind of it's it's uh That's slap you in the face coconut and I, I, I kinda like it. I like that. And by the way, I love coconut. I love coconut I, infused. No? no? I hate coconuts. Uh, <laughs> I hate coconuts. <laughs> when I see so now when I, I see love... Okay, so this is this is my dumb ass and my interest as a as, as a kid. I seen Coca Mostra and I'm like, oh it's a play on like La Costa Nostra. It's yeah. a mob thing. But yeah. cocoa, so it's gonna be a chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. yeah. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got the chocolate too. It has chocolate, but right. it also has the coconut, yeah. which is like yeah. this is Wilson's favorite beer. Like, <laughs> like, like, like Castaway's own Wilson. This is his favorite style. Yeah. That is super, super coconut. Yeah. What starts with a C, ends with a T, is brown and hairy. <laughs> It's a coconut. Come coconut. on, it's coconut. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, the, like for me, like coconuts. I love coconut beers because they are oh. they are very hard to find that are good, oh, and that's right. one of the that's, I, that's yeah. like very it, because coconut is a flavor is really hard to balance out. Like if you get one false false formula, you just fucking ruin so, it. So I mean, my <laughs> own my own my own bias aside, the beer is very very well put together. It's definitely. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Compliments to the beers. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, very well put together. Mm -hmm. But it, it's it's just, I'm not a big fan of the coconut flavor. Yeah. Plus, anything I'm starting to realize in my oldish age now, anything starting to get over like 10, 11% starts getting into it. Like, just like the viscosity of the beer. Oh. It's a certain consistency now that I am just not, not the biggest fan of now. Not just, vibing. Not yeah, at all. It's, it's because I can't, I, 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 can't, I can't chug it. Yeah, I can't drink it fast. It's just a very, very sippable, slow, and it's just I can't do it anymore. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I come to expect it. Like when we get above ten percent, I want that. <laughs> like I'm disappointed if it's not like CRP. Like I don't know. Well, now like now 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 like don't get me wrong. I do like <laughs> the imperial stouts where you get that bite and you get that bitterness and you get that that definite kick and a flavor to it. So Braxis, basically. Uh, yeah, like, <laughs> no, I was I was actually gonna, I was I was actually gonna compare that to a Braxis, <laughs> and then the coconut hit, and I'm like, because at first I was like, is this cinnamon? Is this yeah. coconut? <laughs> I'm not a fan of it yet. I gotta taste it more, but I was just like, mm, I've had this before, but something like that. But yeah, but like, I'm trying to think of some, in, some Imperials that once you, you get that, that are not that consistency. Like, um, I would say KBS is a thinner of the bigger. I was going to say yeah, yeah. Sierra Nevada's narwhal. Yes, yeah, so that's it's a, like 10, 11, yeah. it's like 10 ish. Yeah. He likes narwhal. I, 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 like I will one a lot. die for I like Sierra that Nevada. One a lot. It's, not, <laughs> yeah, it's not super thick, but it's got that bite. Same thing with, I think, um, Stone's Wood Stout, maybe. Dragon's Milk also. Okay, it's yeah. like 11.1, 11.2, okay, yeah. and it doesn't have that super thick, syrupy consistency. Yeah. But it's, it's definitely got that. Yeah, I taste how drunk I'm gonna get. Like, mm -hmm. like, like maybe a bite uh, to it. Prairie bomb too. Never had that before. Okay. Well, we we'll put that on the next episode. Yeah. <laughs> I love to get prairie bomb here. Right? Yeah. Although, little all right, fun, last one. Little fun side story about Dragon's Milk, though. The uh, first time I ever had it was at a beer tasting festival uh -huh. at the Baltimore Zoo, and I didn't know how strong it was. <laughs> and it was one where you could just walk up and get unlimited samples. Oh. oh yeah. By the end of this beer tasting festival. They knew my favorite hockey team. They knew my name. They knew my dog's name. They knew my cat's name. They knew what kind of seafood I liked. like. I got so hammered. It was not even funny. After that, I've never bought more than one of those beers at a time. 
<laughs> it tastes great, but it got me in a lot of trouble that night. I oh. it. Last one, Ozzel Finch, beers in blending, teats out. Right? Hey, you say it. Don't... <laughs> I don't, out. I, I don't know what you know what this is just this, this, this it's drink. <laughs> I don't know if it's a beer name or a little John song. We're gonna figure it out. Another pastry stout. It's definitely nine percent Fort Monroe, Virginia. I mean, Super I, sweet. I oh never it's it's another I think this one's more sweeter than yeah. this. <laughs> but it has like a raspberry or a, a like a fruit. flavor. Like a it's yeah. it's very it's a, it's a tart flavor to it. Is it made out of? It definitely like, has berries? like a hmm. maple syrup. It's a very sweet. I can see that. Mm. But it's not as thick Chocolate, or as heavy vanilla, as the this other was. two it's imperial not, yeah. pastry stouts. It's oh. it's more drinkable. It's it still has that kind of syrupy sugar thing to it, but it's not as thick. Super sweet though. Ooh, right. It's very good though. Uh-huh. I think the profile is just more. It, it caters towards the dessert side of the stout, then rather is the um, original like imperial stout flavors that you normally see. So I definitely will say like that is much more drinkable than this. Yes, but they're both oh, good. Yes. <laughs> you know, that one, that, no. that one, what was that? What's the name of it? The oh yeah, teats Te- 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 out, teats Te- out, teats Te- out. No, this one I could definitely see like campfire nighttime hanging out after a meal. Having that sitting around and just slow sipping it because mm-hmm. it's got a it's 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 got a really really good flavor. It's very sweet, but it's not overwhelming like these other two that we just had. It's not super thick. It's very good. I, I like that one a lot. But it definitely reminds me of like the beer version of like a dessert wine. Yes, it's, 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 it's very very rich, very sweet, and very. It literally it tastes like a it it tastes like dessert. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's the ice like wine of stout. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if I've been paying attention. Let's see. If TK's favorite, I'm saying it's the coconut one. Yeah. Paul, this is tough because you just threw a lot on this, but I think you settle for that just because it's very drinkable. Am I right? You going over the pastry? Through the... No. No one? one? Bam. Oh, 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 well, oh. I, was go- I was saying out of the stouts. Oh, but... oh, oh, no. <laughs> out of, out of these, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> out of the stouts, it is very, very much between these two. Yeah. And to be honest, I probably have to go with the milk stout just out of like general drinkability. Yeah. Plus, milk stouts are one of my favorite types of beers. Right. So I definitely have to go with the milk stout. Yep. Yes. And then <laughs> I'm torn because I like both the Aslan beers. That coconut is, is really good. That was really impressive. So I think I'll go with that one as well. I agree. Oh, all right. So, wow. All right. Yeah. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Right, you don't have to pound the whole thing. You don't have to do the whole thing. Yeah. But just, you just like style. start drinking. Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> and as always. <laughs> drink responsibly. Hell yeah. There we go. <laughs> drink beer. And drink for Tim. Have uh, fun. Drink beer. Be safe, though. Yeah.